tree was cut at Red Feathers Lake, the Christmas tree cutting by the uh, Forest Service, uh, on December 8th at 3 in the afternoon. Okay, here we are. And this is a um, Forest Service tree in our house um, for the Christmas season. And we're going to uh, put some beyond in the tree to keep this tree alive. Uh, so, there you go. All right, and pour it into the, into the... There you go. And we just uh, fireproofed our tree, as they say, keeping it fresh. And here we are in the Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountain Christmas. You can see where I cut the cut the lower branches and we, what we did is we soaked the stem in our Christmas tree stand and soaked it in beyond yay and now we are on today's date is March 25th 2008. <laughs> So, Joyce, just show how firm the needles are, still attached. Oh, yeah, they're not falling off. Yeah. Nothing's falling off. Oops. He's falling down. But <laughs> they're still, it, it looks like a fresh tree. Still. Yes, it does. All right, I'm just going to go I would around buy it. it on a Christmas lot right now. <laughs> yeah. Was it. And Christmas was the 25th, so three months ago, it's 90 days. It's really held up beautifully. Right. And how many days did we have it in the house? From the 22nd, and we took it down on uh, New Year's Day. Yep. So that would be about nine days in the house. All right. And then All right. it's been outside. Yep, and here we have a little pine resin showing right here. And some pine resin up here. Oh, yeah. So this is our testimony to the benefits of Beyond. We have seen this year after year we have done this. And this is the first time we have documented it. Mm -hmm. 